Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Tables are so commonly thought of when one speaks of a database that the terms are practically interchangeable. A table is an organized structure that holds information. It consists of fields of information into which you enter your records. A field is a single column within a table consisting of one category of information. A record is a collection of related data fields that describe a single item contained in a row within a table. After creating the data model for your database tables, you will want to create the table structures in Access. At least at this point, Access will make it easy for you to do so. One way to start is by creating the tables in Design View. To create a new database table in Design View, click the Table Design button that appears in the Tables button group on the Create tab in the ribbon. When you do this, a new table will display in the tabbed Documents area. In Design View, you will not see the actual data that is stored in your table. You will only see a representation of the structure of the table. You will, however, have much greater control over the structure and properties of the fields within your table than if you begin by creating a table in Datasheet View. Note that this window is divided into two panes. You have the design grid at the top where you enter the field names and select data types, and then you have the field properties section beneath it. In the design grid at the top of the table design view, there is a small box at the extreme left end of each field. This is the row selector button. You can click this small square to select an entire row. You will need to do this frequently in Access, so become used to where this object is. In design view, you begin by entering the field names into the field name column. The field name column is where you type the names for the fields in your new table. Field names must be unique within a table and should be brief yet descriptive. You should also consider not placing spaces within the field names. If you want, you can adopt a convention such as capitalizing the first letter of each word in a field name or using the underscore character instead of a literal space between words in a field name. Also, the order of fields entered into this column will be the order that they will be displayed from left to right in the datasheet view, which is the view that allows you to see the actual data in the tables. Next, for each field that you create, you must assign it a data type by using the drop-down that appears when you click into the data type column to the right of the field name. Each field that you create must have a data type assigned to it. This tells Access what kind of data you will be storing within the field. The default data type for new fields in Access is short text. In relational databases, the more varied kinds of data types that exist within a table, the quicker it will be to index and query those tables, so feel free to change the data type as needed. Let's review the various data types that you can assign to fields and tables. First, you have short text. This contains text or a combination of text numbers and other information. Its maximum length is 255 characters. You also have long text. This is simply a longer version of a text field. Its maximum length is 65,535 characters. The number data type can contain only numeric data that you want to perform calculations on, not phone numbers or zip codes, as you do not perform calculations with those numbers. They are simply text fields. Date and time contains a date or time code. This is useful for date time values. The currency data type is similar to the number data type in function, but is formatted as currency. It uses fixed point calculation, which is faster than the floating point calculation used by number fields. The auto number data type assigns a unique numeric ID to all records entered into the table, so this is useful as a primary key field. The yes no data type stores logical data types such as yes no, true false, on off, negative one or zero. This is used when only two possible values in a field can exist. The OLE object data type, which is for desktop databases only, connects to objects in Windows applications. You can use OLE object data types for ActiveX objects, pictures, calendars, and other types of files. The hyperlink data type contains a hyperlink to an address on the World Wide Web. The attachment data type, which is for desktop databases only, allows you to attach any type of supported file, such as images or spreadsheets, for example. It provides greater attachment flexibility than the OLE object field and also uses storage space more efficiently than OLE fields do. The calculated data type allows you to create a calculated field which contains a value that is derived by performing a function on other table fields by using an expression you create. The lookup wizard guides you through setting up a lookup field which will then contain values from another table, query, or values that you enter by hand which are used to validate this field's values. This is useful for combo boxes and list boxes and forms. It is also the only way to create relationships between tables within web apps. 
The image data type, which is in web apps only, is used to store picture data. Below the design grid is the field properties section where you can set the properties of the currently selected field within this table. In this area, the properties of the currently selected field will be shown on two tabs called general and lookup. You can edit or set the field's properties here by changing the values shown as needed. We will look at some of the properties that you can change for selected fields in a later lesson. For now, simply familiarize yourself with where the field properties are located. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.